After college, Karen Akunowitz ditched enrolling in a master's program in social work for the Cambridge School of Culinary Arts. While her parents may have questioned it at the time, the greater Boston restaurant scene is certainly grateful she did. She cooked alongside some of the greats in the industry early in her career, ultimately finding her way to Myers and Chang as executive chef. During her tenure there, she received both local and national praise for creating powerful, spicy, and craveable dishes. In 2018, Karen reached the pinnacle of that praise, winning the prestigious James Beard Foundation Award and struck out on her own. In May of 2018, I won my James Beard Award for my work at Myers & Chang. I had been there, I'd been a managing partner there, I was there for seven years. Joanne and Christopher are not only dear friends, but mentors to me. Fox and I had been, you know, a dream in my heart for such a long time. I knew that that was the restaurant I wanted to open. I knew I needed to find the space. The culture of Italy, the cuisine, the aperitivo, the spirit of Italian culture is really what Fox and the Knife was, was built on. Fox and the Knife has been an important piece of the culinary scene ever since it opened in 2019. Karen and the team were really having so much fun, and then in the blink of an eye, the world changed. The team quickly rebounded, made to-go and delivery a big part of their new business model, and formed a second business, the Fox Pasta Company. This wholesale pasta business grew from selling fresh pastas and sauces out of Fox and the Knife to shipping nationwide with Gold Belly, growing it not just in Boston, but across the country. At the same time, she made yet another bold decision to open another restaurant just two blocks away. Welcome to Mar Bay. Opening a second restaurant in the middle of a pandemic, was it brave? Was it smart? Was it incredibly foolish? I'm not sure yet. I said, okay, we'll, kind of, we'll take a look at it. My landlord is fantastic. The people who live in this building are wonderful. And it was an opportunity that was really too good to pass up. Did I think that we would still be in a pandemic when we opened? Absolutely not. <laughs> a month after we opened, we slid right into Omicron and right into December of 2021. I think for myself and for everybody else who either opened a new space, created a new concept during the pandemic, or just continued to run their restaurants and be there for their staff, be there for the community. I think that is a radical act of hope. And I think it says a lot about the determination and perseverance um, of our industry and the folks who are in it. The restaurant is bright and airy, offers wonderful and expansive bar seating, a former 15-line draft beer system that has been converted to deliver cutting-edge cocktails, and in the middle of the dining room is a pastaficio, where the guests can watch fresh pasta being made daily or even dine within it. Karen became a fan favorite when she competed on the Emmy-nominated show Top Chef Season 13 as well as Season 17 All-Stars. She has appeared as a judge on Top Chef and Top Chef Canada, as well as a judge on Beat Bobby Flay. She returned to the Food Network this year to star in Tournament of Champions. Karen is extremely proud of both of her restaurant teams, and together they have a shared passion about supporting one of the most important charities for the restaurant industry. No Kid Hungry is attempting to rid America of childhood hunger, and Karen and her team have graciously donated their time, food, recipes, and so much more to this important cause. There is no reason in a country where we have so very much where we have excess that any child should be hungry. And I really truly believe that each and every one of us individually and together uh, collaboratively have the power to eradicate childhood hunger. Um, so it's incredibly important to us at the restaurants, our entire team, to work as closely as we can with No Kid Hungry to really forge forward on that mission. Helping those who are unable to help themselves is so important to both her and her team. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome the 2022 Executive Chef of the Year, Karen Akunowitz.